Mr. Whitman. Looks like you've been having some shoulder problems. Yeah, I don't know if I slept on it wrong or what uh -huh. I was, no, I was saying, I don't know if I slept on it wrong or if I'm, uh -huh. what? Uh -huh. no, I, it uh -huh. feels like you're not uh -huh. totally listening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's what we're gonna do. Two syringes, one's herpes, one's chlamydia. Which one would you like? Oh, uh, neither. How can I make this more clear? You can contract herpes or Chlamydia. I didn't sign up for that. Technically you did by being here, but don't worry. You don't have to get both. That's good. Yes, you're getting it. The really neat thing here is that you have a voice and that voice matters. Now it's time for that voice to be heard. So am I giving you herpes or chlamydia? I'm really uncomfortable with all of this. I just wanted something to make my shoulder feel better. I Hey, what's in that one over there that says shoulder cure? That one's not realistic. It has no chance of winning. Don't throw away your vote. What, we're, we're voting? Think about this. If you help herpes win, you'll be saving everyone from chlamydia. And if you proudly put your name next to chlamydia, you'll be stopping herpes. Don't you wanna stop herpes? Or chlamydia? I guess I just feel like herpes and chlamydia are, are both just so bad. I was hoping for something more, you know, good. Mr. Whitman, is herpes imperfect? Sure. Is chlamydia imperfect? Absolutely. But we live in a fallen, imperfect world. And anything that we inject you with is going to be imperfect. And we must accept that. That sounded so smart, but something about your logic seems off. Herpes or chlamydia. Yeah, my shoulder actually feels a ton better. So thank you for your time. Well, chlamydia Ow. it is. Ow! Now I have chlamydia. How does that even happen? Oh!